This is the future. The future. Hi guys, so here we are again, and this is Bunny Corpse. This is the tattoo parlor here behind me, and I'm gonna show you now what the stencil shots look like, or the stencil looks like, or the tattoo looks like. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel, Clipsonians. If you are a collector looking for your next fix, then please enjoy the time lapse. If you are a newbie and you are looking for a tattoo but don't know what you want or what to expect, then welcome to the crash course. Let's talk about tats. Some rules that you have to follow. Yes, there are rules, believe it or not. So the first thing that happening here is my stencil shot. How the design came about, I will tell you guys a little bit later. Let's first finish up all the rules and then uh, we'll get to the design and the meaning. So welcome to Bunny Corpse Tattoos. The studio is situated in Middleburg. My artist's name is Minette. Now how I got to her is actually interesting. Um, the original tattoo on my chest is now exactly 11 years old and I finally had the time and the means to get one and I've been looking for another tattoo for quite a while now. So asking around in the place where I live, everyone was speaking about Minette. Whatever I, wherever I went, her name was mentioned. I found her tattoo parlor on Facebook and I started following her. The whole portfolio is on Facebook. That's what makes the tattoo parlor so excellent, is the fact that they keep on putting all their work on Facebook. I was able to look at all her work and finally made a decision upon what I saw and decided that she's going to be the one to do this tattoo. So important rule number one, don't go to just anyone to put a tattoo. Don't think because a person has a tattoo machine that he can tattoo. Anyone who's working out of their house might not be a good idea. If the person doesn't have a portfolio or any references, do not go to that person. Secondly, never put a girlfriend's name on you. That's the most idiotic thing anyone can do. Because remember, a tattoo is forever. It's permanent. And girlfriends don't last. So if something happens and that girl leaves you, you're going to be sitting with her name on your ass or wherever you put it forever. So do not put a girl's name on unless you are married or not even then because it can even be a disaster. But kids, if it's your, your children, that's good because they're not going to leave you. Anyway, try to stay away from copy and paste. I mean, do you honestly want a piece of work that's already been placed on other people? Or do you want something that's unique? Try not to put a piece of crap on you. If you're not sure what you want, or if you think that you will be tired of it with, of your design within a day or two or even a week, then the design is definitely not for you. Remember what you said, it's permanent. It has to be something that you can live with and that you can look at every day for the rest of your life and not get tired of. Location, location, location. Tattoos hurt. There's no getting away from that. And there's no space in your body that's going to hurt less. But there are places that's going to hurt more. Like there where Minette is working now, that was bloody sensitive, that was painful. Places like on your ribs, that's painful. So you want to put it somewhere where your skin will last for a long time. Where the skin won't stretch too much when you get older. So prime spot will be on your upper arm, like where I'm putting mine, your chest and your back. Those are the best places because they don't sag or stretch or droop or sag when you get older. Some basic aftercare tips. Keep it out of the sun because the sun can make the tattoo age. Once it's healed then sunblock will be your best friend. When your tattoo is done immediately keep it wrapped up for between 5 to 24 hours to prevent it from getting infection. The next morning 
quickly wash it off with lukewarm water mixed with antiseptic like Tettle or Sabron. After that you can choose if you want to do dry healing or with creams. Dry healing is you leave it alone, it's going to scab and it's going to itch like mad but it's going to heal normally. To prevent it from itching you can always put some cream on it like nipple cream, baby bump cream or any kind of moisturizer cream. Then most importantly, once it scabs, don't not scratch it. Never scratch your tattoo and do not pick at your tattoo. Leave it. It will heal within two to six weeks. So how the design came about? I went to uh, do a consultation with Minette and we started talking about what I wanted. So this tattoo has more to do with where I am currently in my life. I'm a firefighter as well as a medic. So that's why I've designed a fireman's axe for the firefighting side of things. And the snake is part of my medical side of things. So you'll also notice that there are elements there which is as follows. Firstly the handle. On the handle it says for I am a child of God. It comes from a song and it says I am no longer a slave to fear for I am a child of God and I'm not afraid to say that I am a child of God. Below that you will find my star sign and I am of course a Debra. Next up you'll find some initials all over the place. There are three initials CJ which is my oldest son and his star sign which is a Libra Christian which initials is also CJ he is a Secretarius and then my wife's initial which is of course a Pisces the Reaper being a medic and being a fireman we always have a little bit of a hustle between life and death sometimes we win some people back and most of the time the Reaper wins some people back so he's actually quite a prominent figure within our line of work and that's also why on the blade it says death smiles at everyone but firefighters smile back for we are not afraid the snake is part of our medical symbols but there's also another reason for the snake or another reference to the snake although we do catch snakes as being part of my job the snake was also mentioned within the bible in numbers 21 verse 8 where the people spoke against Moses and they were bitten by snakes. So the people started crying out and the Lord said to Moses to make a copper snake and put it on a pole and whoever was bitten by a snake and looks at the snake upon the pole will be healed. And that's exactly what he did. And I thought that was fitting for me being a medic. The ropes that you see is just part of a bit of a Chinese style thing. Because of my tattoo on the front, I needed something to tie the front tattoo with the side one and uh, Manette decided that it would be nice to put the ropes on because most of the Chinese weapons and swords have got these ropes on. And lastly, the negative space, the design, is a Celtic knot. The Celtic knot symbolizes an eternal bond, bond between my family and bond between my work. And this was my main idea. A piece of art that when you look at it from afar, you'll see an awesome tattoo of a snake and an axe, but it has a much deeper meaning when you look at it closely. So that's it guys, my new piece of work. It took me about two months to complete from beginning to end. So I hope you like this video, I hope you love this design as much as I do. And remember, if you want to see any future videos, subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads, and as always, Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email 
And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.